the fact that she, she didn't just break the record, but now she's, you know, gonna break 100. Well, what Michaela Schifrin has achieved so far in her career is truly crazy. Because amazing just won't cut it anymore. I think if you look at it, it's the evolution of sports, you know. Um, we all push each other to break new glass ceilings, and she's pushed. Schifrin's success, so far, is undeniable. But Lindsey Vaughn is no slouch either. Vaughn, an American alpine skier who won four Women's World Cup overall championships, was the first woman to win 82 World Cup races. She also claimed three Olympic Winter Games medals and eight World Championships medals during her international racing career. She first burst onto the international skiing scene in 1999 at age 14, when she won the slalom race at Italy's Trofeo Topolino competition for skiers aged 11-14 becoming the first American female to capture the event. It didn't take long before she competed in the 2002 Winter Olympics. She unfortunately failed to medal there and then, again at the 2006 Olympic Winter Games. The first being her debut Olympics, she probably wasn't as skilled as her competitors. The latter, however, was due to an injury. Still, even though she crashed during a downhill training run and was airlifted to a hospital, she returned and within two days was competing despite the injury. While she did not win a medal, her courageous showing earned her the U.S. Olympic Spirit Award. The following year, she partially tore the anterior cruciate ligament in her right knee in a crash during a training session to put an early end to her season. It didn't take long for her to bounce back from injury once more, and she had the best year of her career during the 2007-2008 skiing season. From there, she collected medals and points from various major events, including but not limited to the World Cup and Winter Olympics. Unfortunately, she was sidelined by injuries here and there too. Then, in 2019, Lindsay officially decided to hang up her skis after battling a string of tough injuries. It was a bittersweet farewell as she acknowledged the toll these injuries had taken on her pushing her to step away from the slopes she had ruled for so long. I am struggling with the reality of what my body is telling me versus what my mind and heart believe I'm capable of. The unfortunate reality is my mind and body are not on the same page. The ski legend with a record 97 World Cup wins admitted. Now though, with the FIS World Cup just around the corner, rumors are flying that she might be making a comeback. The buzz has got everyone talking including her fellow champion Michaela Schifrin, who's hot on her heels with 82 victories. Her recent posts on Instagram fueled the murmurs even more. A few weeks ago, she captioned a photo of herself. Being back in the mountains is where I find so much joy. It's my natural habitat. She quipped, even if I hate being cold. It was followed by a video of herself in her natural habitat. She wrote, what makes me happy? Well, skiing. She added that she's thankful to be back on the mountain again, where she feels the most inner peace and joy. I'm not defined by skiing, I am simply a woman who loves to ski, she added. I know the difference now. I don't need skiing to make me happy, but my love for it will never go away. A few days back, Lindsay Vaughn again took to Instagram to share a beautiful snapshot of herself standing proudly by the clear waters of Lake Tekapo, New Zealand with her hands lifted high in the air. In her caption, she opened up about her journey, calling each day a victory and expressing how proud she feels of how far she's come, despite the highs and lows along the way. She credited her late mother for instilling a resilient spirit, one that remains unbroken no matter the challenges she faces. While she may be unsure of the specifics, she's certain of one thing, she's healthy happy and grateful for the opportunity to chase the things she loves. For Vaughn, life's journey is a blessing she doesn't take for granted, and she's ready to welcome whatever comes next. Lindsay Vaughn made a comeback to the New Zealand slopes and even took to Instagram to share a video of her skiing and flaunting her physical transformation. After years of injuries and a knee replacement earlier this year, she's going back to basics, sparking buzz and leaving her rivals stunned. If Vaughn indeed makes her return this season, she'll face off against five-time world champion Michaela Schifrin. 
Schifrin, however, seems excited and supportive. At a recent Atomic Media Day event, she commented, I only heard about this really recently, so I don't actually have too much to say. Even with limited info, Schifrin wished her well, adding with a smile, I would just say good luck. I mean, I wish her the best. She expressed genuine interest in how the season will unfold, especially with Vaughn possibly returning alongside Marcel Hersher. For Schifrin, Vaughn's comeback could signal that she's overcome her injuries and is feeling strong again. Vaughn, on the other hand, talked about Michaela Schifrin's moment of bidding goodbye to the game. Vaughn simply doesn't think it's in the offing anytime soon. In fact, she recently told Olympics.com, comma, she can go as long as she wants. I think it's just a matter of whether she wants to and if she can stay healthy. On that note, Lindsay thinks Michaela might want to narrow her choice of disciplines to safer options. Anyhow, with the FIS Ski World Cup rapidly approaching, the excitement for the showdown on the snow is palpable. Fans are also waiting to watch Michaela Schifrin as she is gearing up to return after a challenging comeback from injury. After a devastating crash last January, Schifrin returned to dominate the snowy heights just two months later. Now, as she is primed to deliver breathtaking performances and eyes the crystal globe, a growing frustration has been surfacing among fans. With all eyes stuck on the icy slopes, Michaela is now set to kick off the season in Soelden, Austria, in a few days. But as anticipation builds for the start of the season, a major broadcasting issue has dampened the thrill surrounding the event. The issue regarding a fragmented system has become a point of contention in the ski racing community. For context, the US ski and snowboard team announced that broadcast rights for the World Cup are decentralized. This would mean that every country is responsible for selling its rights individually. This announcement has left several fans in the lurch as they are unable to access the coverage easily. Acknowledging the disappointment of the audience, Schifrin voiced her opinion, writing, may not be the most ideal situation because broadcast rights for our sport are not yet centralized. Nevertheless, she made sure to let fans know the details of how to watch this year's World Cup. The skiing icon herself, Lindsey Vaughn, shared her take on the issue too. Vaughn, who has been a former teammate of Schifrin, has been outspoken about the challenges ski racing faces in gaining more exposure, especially in the US. During a recent interview with Olympics.com, Vaughn expressed her exasperation at how difficult it is to follow the sport on television in America. Right now in the United States, you really can't watch ski racing, which is crazy, Vaughn stated unapologetically. We can only watch Austrian races, and it's only on one channel at 3 in the morning, so not many people are watching ski racing in the US right now. Most of you are probably aware that Vaughn, along with many others, has always been a vocal advocate for their sport. I've always tried to do in my career um, to push the sport, um, but I have some ideas on you know, how to promote the sport better, how to present. I hope we can find a way. Pushing for changes in the sport is not limited to skiers. Other athletes do too. Watch this. 